Oh, I didn't even see the indie shit. Is this thing even good? Speed this shit up. Wait a minute. Um. Is this shit set to Resident Evil? Hello everyone, welcome to Indie World. My name's Ted. And I'm Elise, and we're here to check out a fresh selection of indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. There are lots of great games out there, and we're here to help you find your next favorites. So let's get started. Hey, it's me, Alex. I'm okay. I met this girl, this boy, a loser, at the diner, at the gas station, in the mountains. They were hitchhiking, driving. They were escaping to the border, looking for someone called Zoe, John, Jared, Sonia, and running from the police, running from some bad guys. They helped me, played games with me, they stole my money, and they made me realize that I have to come back home, I have to make my own way, to help the brigades. Where am I? Road 13, Road 42, Road 67, Road 96. Hey, you see the. Nah, that's cap. <clears throat> 1,000, what, 148,000 routes? Nah. Hey, ici Digix Art, studio indé du sud de la France. On est heureux de vous annoncer que notre nouveau jeu sortira sur Nintendo Switch. Rune Netflix est un jeu narratif et procédural inspiré par les gros movies des années 90. C'était un super défi pour raconter une histoire en commençant par n'importe quel morceau et en extrayant ton enfant comme ça. On a mis tout ce qu'on aime dans les trip. Des émotions fortes, des surprises à chaque tournant. Ce jeu, c'est le signe de My man's was spit and my man's went hyperspeed. Ah, je m'accueille juste pour vous. Où on vous emmène, personne ne le sait, car votre chemin vous appartient. On espère que ce premier aperçu de Rune Netflix vous plaira. I'm excited to see where these roads lead in the procedural story-driven game from Digix Art. Take on the roles of different teenagers and hit the open road for a path to freedom. On this perilous trip, you'll meet characters from all walks of life and learn their intertwining stories. Some folks may help you out, others might impede your journey. With thousands of potential paths to take, the decisions you make, both big and small, can drastically alter your experience. What happens if you take the bus? Whoa, whoa, take it easy. You said thousands of paths to take. Thousands? No way. Or call a taxi. In the end, all roads have to lead somewhere. You're not lying, are you? There are many roads. Which one will you take? Road 96 drives on Nintendo Switch later this year. Hi, I'm Yield. I go by Aerial Night Online. I'm the creator and developer of Aerial Knight's Never Yield, a narrative runner that captures the spirit of classic games in the genre with a few new features and a lot of style. I created this game in Detroit to make space for myself in the game industry, which previously refused to make space for me. And with the help of some of my amazing friends who created something that represents much more. I'm proud to announce that Aerial Knight's Never Yield will be coming to Nintendo Switch, which means you can free run your way to victory to the beat of a dope soundtrack at home or on the go. Please enjoy this look at Aerial Knight's Never Yield. I gotta say, this definitely isn't your typical runner. A 3D side scroller with parkour action set in a futuristic Tokyo style Detroit? Sign me up. Run, jump, slide, and dash through the city as the protagonist Wally to save what's left of the future. And you'll no doubt be head bopping to the amazing soundtrack by Detroit artist Daniel Wilkins with vocals from artists around the world. Aerial Knights Never Yield slides onto Nintendo Switch May 19th. A demo will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Annapurna Interactive, publisher of Florence and What Remains of Edith Finch, have a couple more artistic gems headed to Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look. Jack, everybody thinks you're me. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. Why are you speaking to me and not the others? I bent over backwards trying to keep this family together, but what can I do with this? This is mental. Dad! You've been playing. You can do anything. This is the next frontier. Now show what you're made of. How do you know what to keep and what to get rid of? There's some things that I can't let go. They transport me to the past, to distant memories, and dreams that cascade into one another. Before I know it, I'm pulled back to the present. Standing here, alone. Last Stop arrives on Nintendo Switch, July 2021. Hindsight comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. On behalf of everyone here at Roll7, I'm slated to announce our next title. Our new game is a vibrant action platformer taking you on a journey across the island of Radland on a quest to meet the legendary skateboards. Skateboarding is a sport and an art form in so much space for creativity and expression, and that's something we really wanted to capture in our new game. We're embracing weird, wonderful, and diverse sides of skateboarding, in a game that's all about going on a road trip with your friends, finding crazy spots, and of course, skating everything inside. The team put a lot of love into the project, and we're really excited to share it with you. So without further ado, here's a look at Hollywood Rock. 
The latest title in the Ali Ali series Yo. from Roll 7 is just off the Yo. Tear up the streets of Ravland and search for the mystical skate gods on your quest for Narvana in this slick action platformer. The developers have created a silky smooth gameplay experience with super tight controls and level design that flows with your combos. There are so many tricks to master that even a legendary skater would trump. This looks kind of fire. I want this. I want this game. I want this game. This one actually looks nice. There's no need to aim for precision all the time, though. Down for more chilled out experience? Explore multiple paths to the game's levels. Along the way, you'll get to meet colorful characters, take on quirky side quests, and discover I like all it. hidden secrets of this weird and gorgeous skating utopia. You don't agree. Ride through Radland in Ali Ali World, launching on Nintendo Switch this winter. Winter? Hallo, ich bin ein Computer, frisch besorgt aus Deutschland. Seit vor neun Jahren bin ich beim Wandern an eine Höhle mit einer alten Sage verknüpft. Ein alter König legt sich eigentlich dort zur Ruhe und bat seinen Diener, ihn aufzuwecken, sobald die Zeit gekommen ist. Ich fand diese Geschichte so faszinierend, dass ich unbedingt ein Videospiel davon machen wollte, wo man 400 Tage lang auf dieses Erwachen warten muss. Und einige Jahre lang war dieses Spiel mein Herz Projekt, weil ich herausfinden wollte, wie man Zeit als Spielmechanik verwenden kann, um diese Geschichte zu erzählen. Ich hoffe, ihr werdet alle Spaß haben, jetzt The Longing auf der Nintendo Switch zu spielen. This hand-drawn art style. I've never seen anything like it. And wow, 400 days in real time? You don't actually have to play this adventure game to see how it ends. But that doesn't mean you should leave this little guy all alone. This is a 400 days in real time? Jade, the last servant of a king who once ruled an underground kingdom. Explore dark caves, complete time-based- You know what's gonna happen? Some dumbass in the chat is just gonna take the game, then increase the time in the Nintendo Switch clock, and then make it to the final day, and then be like, I beat the game. And then they'll be and then they'll be all over Twitter saying, I'm not cheating though. That's not cheating. That's the way that the game was intended to be played. Right? Right, you Animal Crossing cucks. That's the way you're supposed to play. You're supposed to speed up time, right? Yeah. That's the way the game was intended to play, right? You motherfuckers! Puzzles and collect items as you long for him to awaken. The longing comes to Nintendo Switch later today. What's our next game? There is no game. Uh, all right then? No, really. The game is actually called There Is No Game. It's a point and click comedy adventure filled with riddles and puzzles. There's a broader story here in this non game as well. Let's not ruin the fun though. Just know this. If you're looking for something different, something experimental that's full of surprises, then look no further. There is no game. Wrong dimension. Fun. Oh, this is one of those games. I want it. You saw how it is. It's probably like puzzles that you have to solve where it's kind of like. You see this? It's a puzzle that's like, oh, get the loading bar to go up. And then you have to tilt the loading bar so so it could go all the way up. Oh, I want this. This is a cool game. Something experimental that's full of surprises, then look no further. There is no game, wrong dimension. Launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today? Oh. Oh. Hi, this is JF from Trivia Games. And I'm from the Today, we're very excited to announce Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge for Nintendo Switch system. This game is a size scrolling beat We took direct inspiration from the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games like Turtles in Time. We're using the classic and famous A7 design with colorful pixel art. We are really happy to have the game coming to Nintendo Switch, as the platform and features fit the project perfectly. We hope you like this trailer as much as we do. See you in Dimension X. I like, I like Raphael. No, this is Michelangelo. And then this is Raphael. No, Leonardo. Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. I like Michelangelo because he likes pizza. Wow. That stupid game that you guys are trying to make me play, remember? Um, the one with the guy where, where he was punching people. <clears throat> Yes, Scott Pilgrim stole from this game. Wow, this looks good. Whoa, whoa, did we just flash back to the 80s? Even better. This, this looks is good. This celebrates its roots. The game is reminiscent of classic arcade beat-em-ups, and it's got a blend of retro and modern visuals. This side will reunite our four favorite turtles as they get some serious shell. Dive into this book. This looks game. awesome. And published by Tokimu. <clears throat> also published Streets of Rage 4 and Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Cowabunga. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. 
That game looks awesome. Columbia developers Dreams Incorporated and SIG draws inspiration from classic and modern JRPGs. What especially stands out about it is the time traveling aspect of gameplay. You can shift time during combat, which can have a variety of effects, like making enemies younger and thus easier to defeat. While exploring this game looks cool too. Whoa, the indies is popping off right now. In this handcrafted dark fairy tale world, you'll recruit a diverse cast of allies and discover new realms, such as the shining kingdom of Crystallis. Can you stop the Empress from destroying the world? Chris Tales lands on Nintendo. Wow, Switch that's a Polonia. that's a good looking game. Showcasing a stylized Japanese aesthetic, gets a fumadem, delivers a dynamic hack and slash roguelike experience filled with perilous dungeons. Fierce boss battles and intense skill based combat delve into the depths of the underworld while mastering the first range of weapons and otherworldly powers to drive back the dark this game looks good too undying moon bro this is the indies i want to see bro the under the other indies they were releasing like 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 last year were trash they're like oh we got a we got an indie of a of a toilet paper simulator yeah a toilet paper simulator nobody gives a fuck about that this like these indies right now are looking kind of fire comes to Nintendo Switch next year. Hola, soy Guillermo Elieso, el estudio mexicano atrás de Aztec Program Gods. Hoy estamos súper emocionados de compartir con ustedes por fin nuestro siguiente proyecto, un juego de acción aventura inspirado en una de las culturas más hermosas del planeta. Aztec Program Gods combina una historia profunda con un universo fascinante y lleno de acción. Elieso, estamos muy orgullosos de poder compartir un poquito de México con jugadores en todo el mundo. Esperemos que les guste. This Aztec one looks amazing. What? That game looks nuts. You're looking for a grand adventure. Look no further than Aztec. Yo! It tells the story TNT of Ashley, is a, a courageous woman by the who way battles of colossal heat. deities. The game puts Aztec mythology and futuristic technology front and center. As Ashley, you'll gain powerful arm upgrades, traverse different areas within a modern Mesoamerican metropolis, and encounter all sorts of characters to uncover ancient secrets. However, sometimes the truth is best left forgotten. Aztec Forgotten Gods soars onto the Nintendo Switch system fall. That game looks nuts. Sans? 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 Action Hero Slayer is a 2D fast action roguelike where you take on an entire army to rescue your king. And the best part? To progress in the game, you'll need to swap abilities, which is done by swapping heads. With 90 playable characters, I mean heads, each with their own special abilities, plus numerous items and upgrades, what the there are heck? certainly enough possibilities here to make your head spin. So get a head. Literally. Oh my god, the fucking, the fucking wordplay. She's like, get a head. Things that'll make your head spin. They probably were in the fucking studio on some shit like, <laughs> yo, write that. Yeah. Make your head spin. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, that's clever. In Skull the Hero Slayer, launching on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. We're nearing the end of today's showcase. Before we go, there are several more indie games we'd like to show you. Please take a look. Fez? You saw the frames in that game? Oh my god. Sheesh! Fez is, a, is available later today. Ready to start your next indie adventure on Nintendo Switch? Head on over to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com for our Indie World sale, available later today. Woo! That's all for today's Indie World Showcase. We hope you're looking forward to these games. On behalf of everyone at Nintendo, we'd like to thank our talented community of partners and developers for bringing their games to the Nintendo Switch system. And thank you to all of our amazing fans for tuning in. To stay up to date with all the latest news from Indie World, please be sure to follow our official Twitter account at Indie World NA. Until next time, happy, happy gaming. gaming. Uh, we spoke too soon. We actually have one more game to show you. What? Welcome, welcome. Yo, that game looks fire. That game looks fire. <clears throat> what game is this? That looks cool as hell. I'm dying to see what the comments say. The first person that talks about Smash in the comments here, we're gonna find their IP address. No, 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 no. I'm finding them. I'm finding them. Let's see. Can't believe how excited I am for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Okay. Okay, nice to see Nintendo give AAA indie developers Konami the spotlight. Joking aside, okay. Character section, I'm hype about this, okay. 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 What about Smash Bros. and Pokemon? Nah, that's it. You had to bring it up. About? Oh, you lucky. You don't got no about? Festive Hitman? Nah, 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 nah. You so lucky, dude. You're so lucky. I was gonna find your Twitter. I was gonna find your Twitter, dude. An exciting indie world. Let me see. Okay. 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 Okay, no smash. You said I want to see Hornet again? 
<sighs> oh yeah, look at my cool, cute ass background. You guys don't obviously know me. I played Persona 3 with a female protagonist. You motherfuckers didn't. You guys all played it with a male protagonist because you guys are a bunch of fucking losers. Anyway.